Hello ladies and gentlemen, Metro Dread is finally released, and for those of you that don't know, I've been trying my best to give you all a roundup of what is going on in the Metroid storyline, going from Metroid to Metroid Dread. If you enjoyed these types of videos, it would mean a lot if you could hit that like button and subscribe. We're going to be talking about one of the most controversial Metroid games in the series. Many people actually love it, while others feel like it was very hand-holdy compared to how open the other Metroid games were. I personally love this game, and I would say it's actually probably my second favorite Metroid game in the entire series. I'll, I'll sing more of its praises more in the end of this video, but for now, let's just jump right into the story of Metroid Fusion. Metroid Fusion starts you off with telling the player that this is the fourth game in the series, and unlike the other Metroid games, it doesn't give you a quick recap of the other games at all. Instead, it starts you off with Samus going back to the planet SR388 with a surveillance crew known as the Biologic Space Laboratories, or BSL for short. Exploring the planet, she gets attacked by a parasitic organism known as X. The X parasite was actually a hidden organism because the Metroids were their predators. Samus, in a previous mission like we mentioned before, exterminated all of the Metroids leaving the X parasite to multiply. Samus, making her way back to the BSL station, starts feeling unwell, falls unconscious, and passes out flying her spaceship into an asteroid belt. The BSL ship recovers her body, then transferring her to the Galactic Federation. Seeing Samus' suit covered in the X parasite, the doctors had to surgically remove her suit, noticing that the parasite was infecting her central nervous system. Luckily, they were able to discover a cure with the cells taken from the infant baby Metroid. Combining those cells to Samus's helped her fight the parasite and later on in the game finds out that you were able to absorb the X parasite giving you health, missiles, and even all the abilities Samus had previously. Samus waking up is immediately sent out to investigate the BSL station hearing that an explosion occurred. Arriving there, Samus informs us that the mission is being overseen by her gunship's computer named Adam Malkovich. The real Adam Malkovich was Samus' commanding officer. Also during the game, in some cutscenes, speaks highly of Adam, having tremendous respect for him. Samus recollects a memory of how Adam would tell Samus any objections, lady, and he would ask her knowing that Samus wouldn't disagree with him, also as a way to note their trust for one another. Samus arriving at the station goes to the navigation room, and this is where you may see something a bit different compared to previous Metroid games. This Metroid actually shows you where to go. Later on, Adam and informing Samus that the station has been overrun by the X parasite and also that the X can replicate the form of whatever. She is also informed that her original suit has been taken and is the reason for the explosion that occurred. This mimicking version of, is known as the SAX and Samus has to be extremely careful exploring the station with the lurking SAX around because Samus now having Metroid DNA, she is weak to ice weapon which is something that the SAX has. Samus discovers a lab containing Metroids later on and she discovers that the Federation was secretly using the lab to breed Metroids. Also find out that the X probe used by asexual divisions, and also Adam informs Samus that there are now no fewer than 10 SAX in the stations. Adam immediately tells Samus to get out of the station and that the Galactic Federation were on their way believing that the x parasite would have endless potential. Samus disobeying orders says Poe wanted to go commence a self-destruct sequence in the ship, but is locked in a room with Adam not wanting to open the hatch. Samus informs the computer as to why she named it Adam over her old CO, and then also what Adam would have done in that particular situation. Adam opens the hatch later on, showing that this was the original Adam's mind speaking to her. This confirmed that the Galactic Federation uploaded his consciousness after death. Later on, Samus initiates a self-destruct sequence of confronting the SAX. She defeats the SAX and makes the BSL station crash into the planet SR388. After she sets that up, she is attacked by an Omega Metroid. Samus defeats the Metroid and skips the station. Flying off, you see in the distance that the station is plummeting towards SR388, destroying the planet. And that is a quick story recap of Metroid Fusion. I honestly love this game despite it being very hand-holding when it comes to informing the player where to go. I can understand why some people might have been a bit thrown off back when this game released, but it really did have a great story. Comparing it to the other Metroid games, this one was more story focused. If you are curious of where to buy this game, you can actually purchase it on the Wii U eShop for $7.99, and this is the perfect place to play it because, of course, you can use a Super Nintendo controller. I was able to go through this game on our very first playthrough back when it released on the 3DS, but it was a part of this ambassador program in 2011. Uh, so I guess that means I may have a somewhat rare 3DS, maybe? I don't know. But now that I have completed this game, I can now just move on to Metroid Dread, and as the recording of this video, I am about 10 hours into the game. Yeah, so I have put in over 10 hours already into Metroid Dread on the very first day of the release. Lord help me.